Greetings guys, this is Tokecraft and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we've got a very special guest and a tank that I've got mixed feelings about, the AMX 12T. But before I'm going to go more into the information about this tank and my feelings, I'm first going to show you how you need to spot on Lakeville in an assault game when you spawn at the southern end of the map. So as you can see, you see me go over the hill in the middle road immediately to the second bush. And why is this important? Well, if you stand in the first bush, you will not be able to look through the second bush as we can see that I'm standing in right now. So you will not be able to spot any enemy tanks if you do that. Uh, and there are two arguments to go and stand in the second bush. One, you will be able to, and they, yeah, to get your view range all the way to the other side of the map, as we can see here. I'm able to spot a Churchill, a VK, and a Comet, and more, many other tanks will follow. Also, it is very important to stand right into the bush and not behind it. Why is that important? Uh, enemy light tanks very often like to spot this middle ridge as well. And if they come around the corner right here, they will be able to spot you because you stand behind this bush. And that is why it's so important to stand right into this bush. When enemy uh, light tanks stand here, they will not be able to spot you when you are standing in that bush. So now the KV-3 was the last tank that I spotted there. He was probably the slowest of all the enemy tanks going towards the city flank. So I decided to fire a few shots into his side there. Just because I was almost certain that he was going to be the last tank uh, on that flank that was going there. So I would not get spotted when I fired. So, now a bit about the statistics of the tank. We can immediately see a thing that I do not like about this tank. And that is the gun depression and the gun elevation. This tank does not get very good gun elevation and depression. Because this yeah weird turret head of the French autoloader light tanks doesn't enable it to fully... yeah. Uh, point its gun up so to say so that's why I, even this very small ridge here didn't enable me to get a good shot at a Chaffee who was almost yeah standing at the same height as I was which is yeah pretty damn annoying so that requires some special positioning from you also you saw that it was a very risky shot at the uh, Chaffee right there it was a very little chance of hitting uh, still I managed to put one shot in but the second one fully missed and that is because the aim time of this tank is really long and the accuracy is not that great whatsoever. So, normally that wouldn't be a, be a problem, right? Uh, RNG can always uh, fuck you sometimes, if you know what I mean. It can always uh, screw you up. But, mostly it's not really a problem. You miss a shot, that can happen, right? But the thing is, in this tank you can't afford to miss shots because you have only got 30 rounds. 30 rounds of ammunition. Which is just, yeah, well, you can't really take risky shots. Look at this. I have to aim for a very, very long time to be able to put one shot in the Hummel. And because it took me so long, somebody else manages to take down the Hummel and not me. Yeah, well, that's the thing that I yeah, that really sucks about this tank. Especially because I'm shooting at these long ranges here. I have to enable my gun uh, to aim all the way because these shots are so far, if you know what I mean. So, now I decide to reload my clip. Which is really nice about this tank uh, is the clip, of course. And that's one of the reasons why gaming have to balance out this tank a little bit. Yeah, well, it's not really balanced out because it's it's certainly not the best tank you could ever play. But uh, this clip is really nice about this tank. Oh, miss a shot on the Comet. Doesn't really matter. I've got another one in the clip. There we go. Put one into him. Fortunately, the Comet notices us. He stops and he reverse angles. Yeah, well, that's not a good engagement for me. So... I decided to reload the last few AP rounds. And I didn't look at this properly because as you can see, I'm loading 5 rounds at the moment and my clip consists of 6 shells. So that mistake uh, will cost me 1 round in the magazine. But as I'm not in direct danger, it's not a very big deal. So what's the situation right now as we can see? The city is pretty much lost and the enemy team have conquered the cap in the middle of the city there. Uh, and I had to get out of the middle road because the comet had spotted me. But the thing is, my team, as you can see, are all sitting here at the side of the of the city. And they are not going in because they, of course, don't know where the enemy tanks are. And they'd rather not take uh, shots from the enemy team without a reason. So what I'm going to try to do is to try and spot the enemy tanks that are standing in the cap circle. Because I'm unspotted, I can get into this middle road position again to try and spot the enemy tanks. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. So... In general, these uh, French autoloader tanks, as you could see with this one, for example, at the moment, uh, don't have the best gun statistics. They are not the best fighter tanks. 
uh, in my opinion, these uh, AMX tanks, the yeah, the French light tanks, are much better off being the 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 yeah the spotter tanks, if you know what I mean. Luckily, we managed to put a reset there into that AC for experimental because with that miss on the KV1 a few seconds ago, I thought I had lost the game. But luckily, our team manages to reset the cap from now on, so the cap is not the problem anymore. And I'm going to blindly reset this comet here as well, which is nice. And now this comet is going to YOLO out of the cap for no reason. But anyway, as I said, I feel that these French autoloader light tanks are the more of the spotting uh, role on the battlefield. Because they are not that far developed with their firepower. Um, that's at least how I feel like it. Of course, you can get really good damage games in these tanks. But these tanks aren't really made for fighting. That's how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think about these tanks. Anyway, that doesn't mean that they're not fun to play, of course. But now it is time to get into the game. As we can see, guys, we're one tank behind. And the very good player, the AMX... Of the AMX, the M4A3 E8 is in the middle of the map there, as we can see. Oh, he, now he's a one-shot for me. Which would be really nice to take this guy down right now. Because he's the best player on the enemy team. And if I manage to take down this uh, position here, I will be able to use the whole middle road to my advantage. And that's exactly what I did right now. So this guy is dead, the best player on the enemy team is down, and now we are one tank uh, in front, in the lead, so to say. So I'm going to try and go to this position, see if the AC4 experimental is stupid enough to um, drive in the open, but that's not the case. I take a quick look at the map and I see this. Uh, my artillery is dead and our spawn point has been conquered by the enemy tanks that have broken through. The eastern flank. No, the western flank, I think it is. Stupid for me. East and west. Confusing it. Doesn't matter. So, the AC4 experimental is dead. And now the only ta enemy tanks that are alive at the moment are these tanks that are coming through the spawn point. So, the thing that I have to do right now is just sit here, open up my camo net and my binoculars. And I'll be able to spot the enemy tanks. Because it is very likely that they will, of course, cross this road to go and interrupt the cap where uh, my two teammates are and that's exactly what they do they get spotted right now i see this they're on low health i put a shot onto the side of the su i see that two tanks are very low on health which is really nice i'm going to take down the su right now that's one kill taking down the jackson right now second kill and i put my last round into the t25 too that was just an amazing magazine really the best magazine probably the the game winning magazine in this game so right now I've only got one full clip of APCR rounds left. And uh, if I would not be able to uh, kill the T25-2 with this clip. I'm only going to have to uh, yeah, reload for the same amount of 6 shells. To only load one round of AP. Uh, which would not be very nice of course. So what I thought at this moment is that the T25-2 would not directly go after the, my teammates in the cap. I thought he would probably... Maybe stay back there to try and spot me as he received fire from me from this middle position. So I thought that he was going to try and uh, fire some blind shots at me. That's uh, why I waited here for a little bit to see if he would spot me. But I don't spot him so that probably suggests that he goes to the cap. Also one of my teammates resets which is really nice. And that will enable me to go after the T25-2. I'm going to speed up the replay a little bit here at the end. Because, yeah, well, this tank might be might have a good top speed limit. But its engine power is pretty bad. And that's why I will not be able to get to this guy very quickly. But as you can see, he's pointing his back towards him. And I'm just going to stand here. I'm just going to empty my clip into this guy. Really nice clip potential with these six shells. I'm just going to take the shot. I don't even care. I'm just going to take down this guy. To take down the win in the AMX 12T. Brilliant game guys. It could not have gone any better than this. Um, I had really mixed feelings about this tank. Because not all of my games were going well. This was the best game I had played. It's one of the first games I played as well. Which is nice. So let's take a look at the stats of this game guys. Really nice game in the AMX 12T guys. An ace tanker with 2.7k damage. As well as a crap load of tokens and a high caliber medal. Really happy to have such a game in the AMX 12T. Just because of the mostly bad statistics. Uh, I didn't really feel that this was a tank that I would enjoy as much. But the thing that really makes me enjoy this tank a lot. Is the auto loader that this tank gets. And still it is very small and very maneuverable. So that's also a good thing about that tank. But still I've got a little bit of mixed feelings about this. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about the French light tank line. Let me know what you think. 
For now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video gave you a little bit of information about how to spot on lake fill because that is a thing that most people don't do right in my opinion. And I hope this video made you decide if you want to get the AMX 12T or not. Or maybe it just gave you a little bit more information about the tank. And if this video did help you or it was just enjoyable, make sure you leave a like because I did put a lot of time into making this video as for all of my other videos. If you like to see more videos like this or you want to see what kind of different content I create on the channel, please make sure you subscribe and I will see all of you in the next video guys. Have a great weekend. See you next time.